What's going on, guys, and welcome to The Last of Us 2. We are now on part eight, um, and we've just basically found out that Dean is pregnant. Uh, so let's just jump into this, and remember to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment, even if it's just an emoji. You know how we do it. So we're at this theater, and we've just escaped the uh, train station, which got a little crazy there at the end. Um, so without further ado, let's just kind of move on here. Ellie seems to be a little bit peed off, but then... So's Dina because she just found out that Ellie's immune uh, and all that kind of stuff. And Ellie's kind of putting it on Dina. I think Ellie's being a bit of a dick right now. Because uh, at the end of the day, they both just shared something that's, you know, kind of big news. So just to, just to um, you know, because I thought that she was possibly bitten. That's why she was throwing up and all this kind of stuff. But no. So, yeah. The secret is out. So now we just kind of need to push through and just see what's going to happen now. Obviously, tension. Maybe Dina might go back to camp. I'm hoping she does, to be honest. What does that say? Need a, needs a key? Okay. Time to head upstairs. Pregnant. Fucking pregnant. Mm-hmm. Same goes to you, though, Ellie, at the end of the day. What the? You know? Two birds, one stone. September 4th, is that? Me, Perez, Green, and Adams made it to the listening post two days ago, and so far, so good. WLF haven't come looking for uh, come, and come looking here yet. The city's lost the WLF. We escaped headquarters out of sheer luck and good timing. Torres, Ward, and the others are probably dead. Camping here, grateful to be alive for now. September 6th. Um, can't sleep, burning up with a fever, no medicine, looked everywhere. We don't have anything except the uniforms on our backs. No contact from uh, anyone on the radio either. How many of us made it out? September 7th. Still feverish, don't have any big cuts, so probably not an infection. The others are waiting until nightfall, then making a run to the hospital to get medicine for me and supplies for wherever we're going next. They're good guys. September 10th. It shouldn't be taking this long. Oh, so they've been gone three days and they've still not returned to the person who has got the fever. Okay. This note's old. Yep. Still, better be careful. Always got to be careful. Cause a little den. We all used to make dens as a kid. And them sheets, putting it over, like, your boxes and stuff. Making a fort. God, it's so dark up here. I feel like I'm expecting something to kind of jump out, you know? There is a cable uh, for this room. There is a radio. Another note, maybe from the same person. Yeah, September 13th now. So this is three days after. She's think the thing. I don't think they're coming back. Yeah, there you go. They're not coming back. Either got um, ambushed or they ditched me. Not my fault I got sick. At least the fever's gone, but now I'm fucking starving. Can probably raid the buildings nearby for food. Then see if I can raise someone on the radio. September 15th. Constant rain means I at least won't die of thirst. Unfortunately, it keeps making the electricity conk out all the time. Makes it kind of hard to use the radio. Not like anyone's answering it anywhere. The WLF can't have hit all the federal listening posts. No way. Need to keep trying. September 16th. Dreamt that there was laughing as I slowly bled out from, the gut, uh, from a gut shot. Woke up an hour ago, still shaking. Need a cigarette. You think they'll be back... Uh, there'll be a pack or two stashed somewhere in the uh, in the fucking theater, but apparently not this one. September nineteenth, power went out again. Going to head to the roof and see if I can get it back on. Ooh. So are they on the roof? I guess we'll go up there. See what's going on.
just kind of follow the cable and hopefully we come down there. I have a feeling we're going to go back down to Dina and she's not going to be there. You know, this person that we're going to now, oh, she just put her head up. No, uh, hold up, her head up. Um, I have a feeling this person could be infected. Died it up here or something. Yep, there they are. This is the person that was here. Damn. You fried? Yeah. You weren't much of an electrician. Well, because of all the rain and stuff, and she. Nice. God. Well, I guess that's the radio working now. But it also does mean the theater's lit up like a Christmas tree. Maybe we can contact Jackson. And see if anyone, you know, like Maria or Tommy's, we heard anything of them. Is what we need for downstairs. Okay, so we didn't check along here. And it's a good job I didn't, because there is nothing. Except a collectible. Who's this now? We've not had a, a villain in a while. Beyond. Real name. Imani Graves. Imani Graves. After near-death experience the left, uh, and that left her in a coma for two weeks, this seasoned detective found that she could cross from our world to the spirit world, allowing her to communicate with the dead. Now known as Beyond, she splits her time between solving murder investigations and serving as a spiritual medium for grieving families seeking closure. However, her, her, her forays into the spirit world are clearly hastening in her, her demise. Um, she looks considerably older than her 35 years. How much longer does she have? And she's a hero. Okay, so when she uses her power, she's actually aging herself. Oh god, I wouldn't like that. If you was to have a superpower, what would you have? Put it in the comments, because I'm kind of interested. A lot of people would like, you know, I would like to be able to teleport anywhere, you know, read people's minds, go invisible. What would you have? What would be your superpower? I'm intrigued. Okay, we've got the key for this now. All right. Oh, God. We're going to watch a movie. Is this high on life? We're going to watch the T-Rex movie. Wow. Oh, Joel, you'd love watching a movie in this place. See, that's the thing. It doesn't seem functional, right? Because it's obviously it's a stage stage. It's not like a cinema. Where a cinema doesn't have a stage, does it? It just has a straight black wall with a screen going across it. I couldn't imagine watching a movie. In there. I, don't, I don't think it's just the American movies or and all that kind of stuff, but these are like the oldest cinemas, right? Where they can put like stage plays on operas and all that kind of stuff. Nativity plays. Okay, this is a bit sus right now. Uh. Spooky. 
No way. You sorry? We're playing again? I wonder if Dean is going to come in now. I love these kind of little moments. Not tune though. Joel's still alive. Is this when she was learning guitar? This doesn't sound like so. Oh. Oh, I suck. Nah. Just need to build up your calluses, that's all. Yeah. All right, come on. Does it? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, it's good just to hear his voice again. I'm going to start guessing. You want to spoil your surprise now? Oh no. Is it a dinosaur? Stop trying to guess. I ain't telling you. <sighs> All right. Is it an elephant? <sighs> Is it a convertible? You're not gonna guess. Is it a puppy? Is it a lot of kittens? <laughs> you mean a litter? What's a litter? A bunch of kittens. He's still got that same bag. You know? Mind your step. I got it. He had that all the way through the first one. <gasps> wow. Is he going to teach us to swim? <laughs> she couldn't swim, could she? What is wrong with you? You should see your face right now. Oh, you're not gonna drown. You gotta work on that confidence, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, keep laughing, old man. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it's this way. <sighs> Worse. Your swim is getting better. Remember now, don't just flail about. You Close gotta. the water with the whole arm. Blah, blah, blah. Glad to know I'm getting through. <laughs> yeah, in the first one, do you remember how she has always had to climb on the pallet? Push him in. Push him in. Looks like... Yes! I knew that was coming. How's that feel? Uh, refreshing. Yeah, it's not nice getting pushed in, is it? <laughs> well, actually, we need to swim through this part anyway. I got you back. You're angry and upset. I am very angry and upset. Now, come on. Uh. Hey, bomb! You're gonna need a dive under here. Take a deep breath. Yeah, I got this. I'm glad there's these like little memories, you know. Because that's one thing. Even though they, like that's a good thing about skipping some years. Is you can go back through them years and relive what happened to build the story up again. 
You know, because they didn't have to skip four years, right? Is it my sixth grade history teacher wanting to apologize for being a massive dick? I beg your pardon? My friend and I would argue whenever he called the Fireflies terrorists. We got a lot of detention. You know, you really need to stop letting people rile you up. It's hard when they're dicks. Point still stands. All right, got another dive over here. Where are you taking me? <laughs> she just casually walked, like, down into the water there like she was something from Pirates of the Caribbean. Is it... a new pair of sneakers? How many of those do you have? Not enough. Yeah, right there. Gonna hand me up. There. Okay. Fuck it. I'm done guessing. Well, good. But, like, is it a massive comic book collection? No, wait. A new DVD collection? <laughs> Yes. Laser, which one? Just yes. How about laser discs? I heard that's a thing. <sighs> Wait up. Laser discs. Huh? Why am I taking lead now? Oh my oh, shit, Joel. God. We're here. Oh my god, it is a dinosaur! <laughs> and it is. <laughs> it is a dinosaur! Right. Holy shit. Oh, it's a motherfucking dinosaur. Who would have thought we was at a museum right there? King of the tyrant lizards. That's why that was in her book. When we read it. And I was like, what the hell she got dinosaurs from? Can we climb up it? Oh, we can. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, uh, Ellie, be, be careful. I'm climbing a dinosaur. Yeah, I can see that. Just don't die falling off of one. Look at me. I'm on a motherfucking dinosaur! <laughs> oh, oh, what are you doing? Don't jump. Just climb down. Die bomb. Do an Assassin's Creed bomb. Come on. Do it. Ah! Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. Oh, wasn't it awesome? A mother motherfucking dinosaur! Oh, that was awesome. What's this? Uh, it's a book? It's a dinosaur book. Okay. Yeah, it's a museum. We have to go and see so oh can I put the hat on? Oh man. You wanna try it on? I do not. Hm. You're lost. Joel, you're boring. Oh, look at those talons. That is a velociraptor. Actually, it's a the Dionicus. Pretty sure these are Velociraptors. Yeah. I mean, at least that's what they called them in this movie I saw. Hmm. Movie you saw? Probably Jurassic Park. Even Jurassic Park, though, got Velociraptors wrong. Velociraptors are full of feathers, aren't they? Whee. Oh, 
hello. Sorry, the dinosaurs are busy right now. What are you doing? Oh, wait. One of the dinosaurs is here. Joel, it's for you. Very funny. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Did you get it? It's because you're old. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Okay. See, I'm, I miss this Ellie. Obviously, right now, she's going through a lot, right? So she was just being a kid. And obviously, through the four years, that's because this, well, this is, what, year one of them four years. So I'm just, I wonder if we're going to find out what happens within them four years to understand why her and Joel are awkward when they first see each other at the beginning of the game in episode one that we did. Is this a Diplodocus? Is it Diplodocus? Tiny head. <laughs> Joel, look. That is a hat on a dinosaur. Tiny head. Triceratops. It's literally on the wall. Is this going to be a thing? Yeah, we're putting, putting hats on everything. <laughs> Wait, what is this? I want to know which which one this is again. Can I get my hat back? Okay. That's the last thing I'll put a hat on, I promise. Hey, Joel. Ellie. <clears throat> Don't you dare take it off. My birthday, my rules. Looking good on you. Oh, it's Stegosaurus. Of course it is. Why did I think it was a Diplo story? Diplo, Diplo, Diplo. Yeah, I've already forgot what it was. Why do I have a feeling something's going to go wrong here? Because size of these Allosauruses. Iguanodon. There's so many. Oh. Over Raptor. Whoa, this one looks like a bird. Well, actually, paleontologists believe the birds were descended from dinosaurs. Mm. Well, excuse me, Mr. Professor. <laughs> He's got his hat on now, what do you think? A thing or two. From a movie. Keep going. Did you go to museums a lot? Yeah. Yeah, Sarah loved them. I swear that girl dragged me to every damn museum in Texas. Looks like a giraffe. <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? I guess that's about stain. I see the appeal. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Oh God. A walk through the stars. <gasps> Did you know this was here? Oh, you don't like it. Um, Straight from prehistoric to... Oh, shut up. Astronomy. Oh. Hey, Joel, can you name all the planets? <clears throat> My very educated mother just served us nice pizzas. Uh, did you just have a stroke? My... Mercury. Very... Venus, Mother Mars. Oh, okay. I get it. That's pretty cool. Smart. I've never heard that one. I knew what he did when he, as soon as he said it. I literally have uh, went to a space museum this year. It was the first time I've ever been to one. Kind of cool. Oh, fuck yeah. Where's 
steering wheel. Rovers don't use steering wheels. Mm -hmm. They use joysticks. Huh. Hang on. Here's the real one. Well, considering they left the real ones on the moon, I don't say no. This will be a good time to actually see like these museums, right? Because you can touch them all. <laughs> Normally, when you go into these places, you can't touch anything. Space, you're gonna need a helmet. Hell yeah. Oh, right. What was I thinking? Oh. Now the question is which one? We have this. Is this France? Mercury spacesuit, Gemini space. It's got a France thing on its side, isn't it? Flag. I think this one's got an American on it. Yeah, an American thing. <laughs> so cool. How does it smell? <laughs> like space. And dust. <laughs> the size of her head. After you. <laughs> Watch your head. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. Alien Joel to mission control. Wow. As you look at all these buttons. Oh, it's so badass. <laughs> Man. Could you imagine just <laughs> Happy birthday, kiddo. What is this? Music. This is a thing that took a mighty effort to find. <laughs> Take it. God, I love the music of this game. Say we uh, 
Keep looking around, huh? Yeah, I guess. Gonna pin it to a bag. Indeed. That was nice. All right. Well, there's there's some stuff over there. Yeah, I never checked out that building. Well, let's go. And just how do you plan on getting yourself over there? Jump in the water. Ah! Oh, God. <laughs> you never give anyone else this much grief. Get down here. No. Hey, whose birthday is it? You can't keep doing that. I want a good splash. We've got more exploring to do. Jump. Geronimo! <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, who's being there? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll open the door for you. Come on, we can't chicken out now. You got this. I'll be fine. All right. Go. There. The hell's in here? Um. Okay. Bad news. There's shit blocking the door. Well, see if you can find me another way in. I'll, I'll walk around the outside. Okay, be safe. You be safe. There are dinosaurs around. God. Ooh, stay strong, buddy. Crazy, isn't it? Wolves. Very clever animals. Hunting in packs and how they control the pack as well. This guy needed a hug. <clears throat> it's dark in here. Yep. Yeah. Oh no. I knew it. I saw the bottle. As soon as I saw the bottle, I was like, uh-oh. I guess I can't draw them out. I want to try and make a Molotov at least. 
Because right now, at the age she's at, I don't think she can make... I don't think she can fight hand to hand. So we can take a Molotov at least for at least maybe a couple of kills. I just need alcohol. Oh, God damn it. Okay, here we go. We wanted to end suffering. We wanted to restore humanity. Each time we sacrificed part of ourselves, our leaders kept saying it'll be worth it. Now we've disbanded, with nothing to show for our sins. I thought coming here might reignite something, some purpose. My parents loved bringing me here. It's one of my, f uh, my earliest memories from before the outbreak, before all of the cruelty and savagery. Those memories just made me angrier. I don't want to be in this world anymore. I can't look at the person I've become. It could be one, it could be multiple, it could be one that's stuck. But there's only one way to find out. <laughs> Jesus! Big animals. Bloody hell. What the? Ellie? I'm in here. Bloody boar. Who was it? It's just some animal. Let's get a move on. I want to get a fire going before it gets too dark. Come on. But the knot, that's the thing. The knot liars. It was just Joel saved her. Seattle day two. back the radio what if that's Dina playing with it tell you what wait Get your jacket. At least one thing. She had a sleep. It's got to be Dina. fix it it was a loose connection antenna they found our mess at the school 
Good. This guy, Owen, he went AWOL. Hmm. Maybe Tommy got to him. Maybe. What about her? Nothing yet. Unit Romeo, you are requested at site two. Repeat, you are requested at site two. Confirm. So, the numbers are locations. The TV station we were at, that's six. There's a lot of chatter coming out of two, so I'm assuming that's their home base. Last night was stupid. stupid. Casualties reported in fourteen. All available units report. Over. Fourteen. This is site thirteen. Unit lean on nearby. How many scars you got? Over. Negative on scars. Lone male trespasser. R. Lone male trespasser? Tommy. Where's fourteen? Uh, not a hundred percent sure. Okay, then guess. Uh, if this is seven, twelve's all the way over here. I guess it's somewhere in this neighborhood. Oh, crest. Okay. Hill crest. <sighs> Not something we've heard of before. Dina needs to go back. Not good. <laughs> hey. I'll go get him. You keep tracking them, okay? Yeah, okay. Wait. Give me your hand. It's for good luck. I don't believe in luck. I do. Well, we're alone now. I'd rather a beast left behind than dead. Well, we've arrived at Hillcrest. Okay, Hillcrest. Is this the right place? Oh yeah, there's a big sign above you. Oh. Definitely the right place. We got some gunshots, but that can wait till next time. I think that was a good little bit of an episode. It's a bit of a break within all the combat, and it, it gives us a bit and shows a bit more of the story that's that's happened in the last four years. You know, young Gorelli. Now we know what's going on with Dina. And the next episode, it's going to get a little bit more chaotic. Probably maybe come across the stars, uh, skies, stars, um, and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, check out my other content right here. Keep smiling, and I'll see you in another video.